It is a disgusting place to come and work. I, I have a hard time coming here. Lisa Turner isn't the only one who wants a better state high. Renovations happened 20 years ago and are far overdue. Uh, we have a pretty significant problem with, with flooding. At least twice a year, we have a space underneath our North Building Auditorium that fills with water. Uh, that space used to be used for costume storage for a lot of our drama club presentations. Now we can't use that space at all. Uh, it, it'll flood up to even 10 feet high. And even bathrooms are far from ideal. Conditions at State High are so bad, the faucets don't even turn on. With over 2,400 students, the safety and security are important to secure, but hard to maintain. Every 47 minutes, when, when class is over, we have kids crossing the street. And when I say cross the street, they leave the building, cross a bus lane, go through a parking lot, cross a pretty major street cross another bus lane and go through another parking lot in order to get to their other building. Renovations could solve the majority of the high school's problems, which would cost taxpayers $85 million. But before progress can begin, taxpayers have to sign off on the bill in the upcoming primary election. And for some of the teachers, the thought of coming into school is almost unbearable. For kids to be a, a suffering from almost heat exhaustion by the end of a school day because they're in a 90-something degree classroom. Um, we're, you know, we're offering water and popsicles to try to help cool kids down. Um, it just isn't meeting the needs of the kids at this point. A majority of voters need to be in support of the tax increase in order for the renovations to begin. And Lisa Turner says she will sacrifice a good meal to fix this school. I live four minutes from here. I pay taxes. I'd be willing to eat hot dogs once a month and, and cut back on some of my spending to, to help pay for part of this mortgage for this school. It's that important. For the Center County Report, I'm Emily Schwartz.